Whatever happened to Android 17 slash Artificial Human 17? Where has he been? People have asked, and thus, I have an answer. Hey, super tubers, don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, and spread the word about the channel, and find me on these social media platforms. When Gohan killed Cell, 17 died too because he was biologically linked to him internally because he was absorbed. Shortly after, the Z Fighter summoned the Eternal Dragon and 17 was brought back to life. Krillin then attempted to make a wish to turn the artificial humans 17 and 18 into humans, but the dragon said that he could not make that wish. I know a lot of people seem to have forgotten this, but yes, it was beyond the dragon's power, and really, it's because 17 and 18 are of human base, with enhancements, and thus they already qualify as being humans. We find out from 18 that 17 is her brother, officially of course. 17 then leaves and this was the last time that we saw him. Until the Buu Saga. We briefly see 17 donating energy to Goku to help beat Kid Buu. Interestingly enough, in the manga, Toriyama originally intended Lunch to be in that scene, but cut her out and replaced her with 17, and to this day I haven't been able to find a clear answer as to why other than maybe he was trying to use a more contemporary character. I guess that kind of makes sense. Of course, in the anime, we actually do see Lunch getting out of a bus. But nonetheless, what happened to Seventeen in between then and after? Well, the answer comes from Toriyama himself. In Volume 6 of the full-color manga interviews with Toriyama of the Cell arc, Toriyama answers the question. He says, and I quote, he works in the wildlife preserve area of a gigantic royal nature park as an outstanding guard who doesn't hold back against poachers. So he's pretty much a park ranger trying to stop certain bears from getting picnic baskets. Toriyama continues, It's an ideal job for number 17, who loves to be on his own and isn't big on co cooperating with others. Since he's so good at his job, he takes in a high salary. He's married to a zoologist. They have one child and two adopted children and live happily in an isolated house inside the nature park. I do find it funny, by the way, on a side note that Seventeen actually got a job considering that they spent most of that saga stealing and robbing and blowing things up. Like, why would you work if you can do that? But I guess the guy legitimately had a change of heart, right? He actually became a good person at the end of the day, uh, a real one. So Toriyama continues, he went and met number 18 in Kurin, which is... Krillin's last name. Actually, it's Kuririn, but whatever. Krillin's Japanese name. But didn't talk about what he'd been up to. Maybe because he considers such a wholesome lifestyle embarrassing. So that's Toriyama's quote on the fate of Seventeen. Seventeen seems like kind of a wasted potential character in the sense that every time that the Z Fighters reunite, he's nowhere to be found. And same thing goes for lunch too, but you would think that Seventeen would have tried to help out because he is pretty damn strong. So, the question remains, what will the future hold for Seventeen? Will we see him in the future of Dragon Ball at all? Whether it be a new storyline in Xenoverse 2 or in Super? And will he ever fight again? It was cool to see him come back in GT, I guess, but that wasn't really Toriyama's vision. So, what would Toriyama do? I guess we'll find out down the road.